Hello, Tarot lovers. This is Mervet from the Egyptian Mystic. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is really very interesting, and it's about uh, ten uh, tarot relationship styles. And uh, I found this uh, tag quite interesting, which is hashtag #tarotmanstropes, and it's a video response to uh, Sylvie at uh, Tarot Magpie. And I found it so interesting and I saw several uh, videos talking about uh, these 10 prompts and I decided to jump in and participate. I went through my decks and I picked some decks that I wanted to share with you. And the first prompt is about uh, is called enemies to lovers. And that's a deck or a style uh, uh, that has a style or system. You have insisted it wasn't for you until you realized it was. And the first deck that came in mind was this beautiful deck, the Guardian Tarot by Beth Silonen. And this is a deck that um, I didn't like when I saw it and I said I will never buy this deck because of this, these figures that are there. Uh, it is, it, I didn't like it because um, the faces, you know, these faces were like aliens. And it made me uncomfortable. But then when I I kept uh, seeing it several times, whenever I go to a bookstore, I found it. Uh, so I decided to give it a go. And I'm so happy that I did. Because it is really a beautiful deck. Quite powerful and quite unique and quite different. The, the images are so uh, intuitive. And all of these images are trees. And <coughs> and uh, using these images, she was so uh, clever to uh, interpret uh, the majors and the minors. And uh, I fell in love with this deck. I really fell in love with it and I liked it so much. And I regret that I haven't bought it uh, earlier. But uh, I got... Uh, when I kept uh, seeing it several times, I felt that it's calling to me. So this is a deck, uh, a beautiful deck that I have a very special relationship with. And uh, it became my, uh, my lover after it was my enemy. So that was the first deck that I wanted to talk about. And um, another one that came to mind also, let me take this away. Uh, is this deck Tarot of the Abyss by Anne Toran because I'm not a fan of black and white decks but this deck uh, is really gorgeous and it made me uh, fall in love with all uh, black and white decks because uh, without uh, using color she was so clever to interpret uh, the meanings of the cards and uh, uh, with uh, having black and white decks you can see the images and the artwork more clearly because sometimes the colors uh, could distract you so this deck made me uh, like black and white decks and see the beauty uh, in these decks and it is really gorgeous and Antoran is really amazing and this deck is just stunning and some of the cards are quite uh, intuitive and quite powerful. Uh, like, for example, this Justice card. It is stunning. Uh, it's not the Rider Wade Smith. It's not a clone. Look at this Wheel of Fortune. I mean, uh, images are so beautiful. The Chariot, the Strength card, the Lovers. It is really a very, very beautiful deck. Look at this high priestess. It became one of my most cherished and loved decks. And this six of cups. Uh, it's awesome. It's really awesome and so, so beautiful. Uh, I want to show you all the cards, but I still have many decks to go. So let's move on. So that was the first prompt. Enemies to uh, lovers decks. And I chose these two decks. The second prompt is Friends to Lovers. And that's a deck you used, liked well enough. And then uh, one reading deepened and changed your relationship with it. 
So this is uh, the first deck that came in mind was this gorgeous deck, Tarot of the Hidden Realms by um, Jeffrey, Julia Jeffrey. And this deck I had since a long time and uh, I felt a very strong connection to it. Uh, but still it was sometimes difficult for me to interpret all the cards. And then I kept uh, using it and so, and you i got one day i got a reading and i saw this three of swords i decided that this is the most beautiful three of swords in all my tarot decks it's amazing some of the cards really made me shiver and i felt a very deep connection to this deck and and this six of swords and I wanted to show, this is the Eight of Swords. I mean, I started to fall in love with this deck and uh, understand the depth and the beauty in these cards. Let me show you, uh, yes, look at this, Two of Pentacles. I mean, some cards became so, uh, I felt so uh, in a very powerful way. And uh, my feelings towards this deck changed completely. It became one of my best decks of all times uh, it's even uh, I could say that it's one of my top 10 decks and let me show you the strength card because it is the this one because it's this card that changed everything I mean this is so powerful and so beautiful look at the 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 expression on her face while she's looking at the wolf and you see you feel the energy flow of energy between them as if they are testing each other i mean uh, this card changed uh, a lot of things uh, and made me understand a lot of things and then i started to know how deep and well done this particular deck is so this is my favorite of all times tarot of the hidden realms it was my friend and it became my lover and i uh, have another deck uh, in this category which is the orient's tarot deck and this is a beautiful deck one of the most beautiful decks of all times animal decks and i got this deck because of the beautiful uh, artwork but then I kept using it and uh, started to get used to it and read it a lot of times and I discovered the depth and beauty in this deck. It is so powerful although I'm not a fan. I love animal decks but I'm not it's not my uh, the, the the best style that I like. But this particular deck is an exception. It is so powerful and so beautiful. And it became one of my top 10 decks. The images are stunning and uh, the choices are great. And this is uh, really uh, one of a kind. It's a deck that um, very unique and it has a very, very special place in my heart. So that was uh, the Orient Starro. And that was prompt number two, friends to lovers. And prompt number three is uh, Soulmates. And that is uh, a deck you fell in love with immediately. And I have three beautiful decks that I fell in love with immediately. And I cannot uh, choose one and leave the other. The For Hexa Tarot by MJ Cullinan. This is one of my decks that I fell in love immediately it is one of my favorites this is the indie version and I could not help it I mean if I could say the best artwork I will definitely choose this deck I am in love of each and every card I'm in love uh, with each all the tones of colors she used, all these witches and all these fairies. I love everything about this deck. Not a single card I don't like. So this is one of my soulmate decks. I can't say how much I really love it. 
um, I just don't like the this uh, slippery uh, uh, cards although the quality is great but it's not so easy to shuffle and that's my only thing that's why I wanted to buy the mass market uh, edition maybe the cardstock is uh, thicker or not as flimsy uh, but this is a stunning deck I, I love every single card I, I have all her decks and I love all her decks but this is just gorgeous everything about it is so beautiful and well thought of very beautiful very pretty look at this council of monarchs as the the emperor I mean it's stunning so this is my soulmate first soulmate deck the for hexa tarot and the next is the spirit keepers tarot and this is a beautiful deck that I loved at first sight I couldn't have the first edition so I'm so I, I kept looking and waiting for this deck for years till I got it and I cannot tell you how much I do adore this deck the spirit keepers the artwork is stunning and I'm so in love with this deck I, and I can't be I was so sad that I couldn't get it I'm telling you I waited for maybe three years to get this deck even more so I'm I'm in total love it is a beautiful deck artwork is so unique so intricate so powerful so uh, so everything about it is very nice the keywords the colors that were used and the quality of the cards I mean it is a stunning deck and I love it so much so that is a soulmate deck I loved it at f since I saw one image and my I couldn't forget and I chose three decks so please uh, bear with me I could not pick only one because these three decks are adorable the lily black deck and I have also the lily white, but this is my my beloved soulmate deck. The artwork is just stunning. The quality is amazing, and I am a fan of these this uh, style, black background with uh, with these colors on top. I love it so much. Everything about this deck is unique, and I. I read with it uh, it gives me very accurate readings and I feel so connected to it the images are just stunning look at this look at this moon card the colors if I could uh, draw I mean I could not do something I couldn't have something better in my mind I mean it is stunning the colors are stunning the artwork is amazing and this is my beloved lily black deck and i much prefer it than the lily white but i mean this is my soulmate deck so these three decks are my best decks and they are what you call soul soul uh, soulmate deck so then we move on the fourth prompt is uh is what um forced proximity and that's a deck that uh, you had uh, for a month took on holiday made yourself work with it and for that your ch uh, relationship changed with it and uh this is my uh sacred rose tarot and it's one of my oldest decks and uh, i trimmed it and edged it so it became uh this beautiful small size so i took it with me on a holiday and i used it every day and my my connection really changed with it so it became so close to me i loved it so much and um i have it uh, on my desk i do a lot of readings with it and it has some of the most beautiful major arcana cards like this hermit and this uh, justice card Look at the Wheel of Fortune and the strength. The artwork is stunning. 
and this death card i mean the measures are amazing and i fell in love with this deck i didn't think that i would like it so much look at this moon card it became my favorite of all times and i use it all the time so this uh, having this deck with me and it was mm, the only deck that i had made me uh, connect really uh, very strongly with this gorgeous deck so that was my sacred rose which is uh, follows the prompt of uh, forced proximity and i have another deck the mystical moments tarot and by Catherine wells stein and i also this deck i bought because i loved the artwork and i uh, i didn't think that i will connect with it so much but then i kept working with this deck for maybe like two weeks continuously and i found discovered how powerful this deck this is uh, in my opinion i think one of the best collage decks that uh, uh, it's really done so well i didn't like it at first because it was so glossy but this is a deck that the more you work with the more you will love the more you see the cards and get used to it, the more you will see the depth and the, the insights behind uh, these cards. They are so good, so well done, and it's really a very unique deck. It's one of a kind. So this is a uh, force proximity, really. Uh, I didn't think, I underestimated this deck. I thought it's just beautiful artwork. I didn't expect it to be that powerful and it became uh, one of my most loved decks. Look at this Ten of Swords and the Nine of Swords. It's stunning. I mean, every card is really gorgeous. So that was the deck that, uh, that I wanted to talk about. And then the next prompt is uh, Opposite Attracts. And those are decks that uh, this is a deck that is not your usual style but you love it anyway and the first deck that came in mind is this the deviant moon tarot this is by patrick valencia and i have this deck since it uh, it was uh, released more than 10 years maybe even more and i can't say how much i love this deck Although it is not my style, I don't like these uh, angry figures, but the artwork is just stunning. I, could, I never thought that I could love it. Uh, it's exactly not my style. I mean, it's so brutal in some images and so uh, aggressive sometimes. Look like this image, for example, the hermit. But... You cannot, uh, you cannot say that you will not that this artwork is not gorgeous. The choice of colors, the 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 power, the power behind these cards, it's really it has very strong energy, and I love it so much. And although it is not my style at all, but I love this deck, and it is really one of the best, uh, one of the very unique decks. Uh, very distinguished and the artwork is so special and so unique look at this ace of cups so this is the deck that uh, I, I was attracted to because it is uh, exactly the opposite of my style another deck is uh, this surrealist tarot and um, I'm not a fan of this style of art but I love this deck so much. It's so uh, intriguing. I mean, I never, I cannot use it as a deck, as a tarot deck to do several readings. I think I will just use it as an oracle because it is really uh, not my style at all. But I love every card. All the cards are so beautiful. And I never expected that I will like it that much. Look at this card, for example. I mean, it's not my style. Some cards I love so much and some of them are... I mean, I have some some remarks. 
but this is one of the decks that I it's an the opposite of my style and <laughs> look at this five of but I still love it and I want to work with it more and get in contact with it more and more and then the sixth prompt is slow burn a deck you didn't have the best first impressions but the more you worked with it the more you liked it and this is the chrysalis tarot this is also one of my earlier decks and it is stunning really stunning but i didn't like it at the beginning i thought it's so beautiful the artwork is stunning but i didn't connect to it at all i really couldn't feel any of these images but i love it this is matte of course i feel this card but many of these cards i could not connect with but i started to work with it and uh, read the guidebook and understand the cards and the more I work with it the more I liked it really it's a beautiful unique deck with very strong energy and uh, quite creative I mean uh, very creative and especially with the uh, court cards they are really very unique and different and this this deck has uh, one uh, of the most beautiful uh, styles of artwork the artwork is so beautiful really gorgeous I can't say anything about it it's really amazing and I love this deck so much although uh, I didn't like it at first I mean I didn't feel it that uh, I wasn't so much connected to it but this is a deck that took some time uh, I studied it and the more I use it the more I love and like this deck so much and then prompt number seven is the blind date and that's a deck you bought by an impulse uh, or uh, you got like a present or uh, you, you bought it without much research and you ended up really in love with it and this is the last unicorn tarot i bought this deck on an impulse i saw one of the images uh, one of the cards on one of the channels on that youtube channel and i i decided well this is a beautiful deck but when i got it i can't say how much i fell in love with this deck and i was surprised because i did not expect it to be that gorgeous that beautiful that uh, powerful the story is great and the cardstock is stunning and the artwork is so beautiful and although it's done by four artists but it is so cohesive you won't feel that the each of the suits is done by a different artist it's so unique and so beautiful and it has a very very special place in my heart it's my first the first video on my youtube channel was walk in uh, I walk through this deck so it is a very very dear deck to me so the last unicorn was a deck that I bought on a blind date and this is another deck that I bought without knowing anything about it but it turned out to be a beautiful amazing deck that's the art of love tarot by Tony Carmini Salerno and I had never heard about him I just got it I saw I saw it uh, someone selling this deck and I tried to find any I didn't have time to check the images on my uh, you on on any uh, on the YouTube but so I bought it and I was surprised it introduced me to this amazing uh, artist I love all his decks and this is such a beautiful unique special deck with the most beautiful artwork you will really it's stunning i bought it uh, on an impulse and i'm so i was so lucky that i found it really because i would have never bought it uh, and i don't see it a lot uh, although it is really amazing it has so beautiful images and i'm so in love with this gorgeous deck so that was the art of love tarot which was uh, fits in the category of the blind date uh, relationship 
And then the eighth prompt is the second chance. And that's a deck you plan to get rid of that worked uh, its way back into rotation. So these two decks are uh, fit in this category. That's the Fountain Tarot. And this is the Mass Market deck. Uh, no, 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 no. This is not the Mass Market. This is the, the, the Indie. I'm sorry. I wanted to buy this deck. And when I got it, I didn't like it at all. When I had it in my hands, uh, the colors are so pastel-like and the images are not so clear and it's so modern. I didn't like it at all and I have this deck since more than 10, 12 years even. And since it was just uh, released and this is the first edition, so I don't know, I didn't like it, but I kept, I got it back and I uh, started to work with it and I decided that it's one of the best decks. It's a very beautiful deck and really gorgeous. And uh, I got it back and I started to work with it. So that's one of the decks that I gave it a second chance and I'm so happy that I did. And then this Jeopardy's Tarot by Nino Jeopardy's. And this is also a deck that I bought and I didn't like, I like the images, but I, uh, some of the images turned me off. And uh, I said, well, I regret buying it. But all of a sudden, I started, I trimmed it and uh, edged it. And my, my feelings changed completely. This is a gorgeous deck. And I started to fall in love and see all the beauty in this, uh, in this deck. It's so unique. Look at this six of fire. It's so unique and I don't know why I didn't like it in the first place. I really regret <laughs> having been working with it earlier. And um, I give this deck some my apologies. And I'm so happy that I gave it a second chance. And the prompt number nine is the unrequited love. And this is a deck you really want to love. But it doesn't love you back yet. And... I know that no one will agree with me when I talk about this deck, the Marielle Tarot. I have the first edition. I have the second edition. I've been trying to love this deck a lot. And this is a deck that I will not say it's uh, unrequited love. I will say it's like a sort of love-hate relationship. I have a very strange relationship with this deck. I told you I have the first edition and I got the second edition because some of the cards in the first edition, I hate it completely. So like 40, no, like 85% of these uh, cards I love so much. But just some cards just turn me off. I love this deck so much and I'm so happy that this Hierophant was changed and the High Priestess, I didn't like them at all. And I love this deck so much, but uh, some cards just turn me off and I cannot connect completely with it. Like this death card. I don't like this card. I don't like the devil and the tower. You see some cards I love. No, not some, most of the cards. But this ace of wands, I hate I can't love it. I'm, I, I'm unable to connect with this deck. Although many people say that this is a gorgeous deck. And I'm sure of that. But I just... When I see these cards and I can't take them off the deck. I don't feel at all... It's, they just turn me off. I hate this Queen of Wands. I am the King of Wands. I hate the, pay, the Aces. So much. But I love the mo most of the cards I love so much. But this is just a deck. I don't like this card too. And I hate the kings. I hate the king of cups. I mean, I don't know. I have a lot of mixed feelings with this deck. Um, as I told you, it's like love-hate relationship. 
I hate this King of Swords. I can't connect to it. The Ace of Discs. I love this one so much. And also this King of Discs. I don't like them. So that's why this is a deck that I wish I could love. As many people talk about this deck, everyone talks very well about it. But I cannot connect with it. So this is a very challenging deck to me. And this fits in the category of the unrequited love. The last category is the love triangle. And that those are two decks that are in competition with each other. Or a pair of decks that you always use together. So... Those two decks are the Ma Tarot and A Journey into Egypt Tarot. And they are both by the same author, Julia uh, Watts. And these two decks are so connected to each other. And um, I bought this deck, which is A Journey into Egypt Tarot. And it's, uh, I, as I said before, it's the best deck that talks about Egypt. And I'm uh, preparing to do a deep dive in this particular deck. I unfortunately haven't got the book. So I use the book. Uh, where is it? I don't have it close to me. It's the mat, the book of the Ma Tarot. Because I see a lot of connection between these two decks. And whenever I think of one, this, the other deck comes to mind. So these decks are so connected to each other. And I love working with them together. And they are the gems of my collection. I mean, these are so dear to me. They are adorable. And I have, I always compare these two decks together. Uh, whenever I have one, I think of the other. And I'm so in love with these two decks. Uh, so that was the last prompt. And I have another uh I have another two decks in mind that could fit in this category. Let me show you these two decks. Let me get this away of this. The, these two decks are the Mind's Eye Tarot and the Universal Folk Tar Oracle. Whenever I work with this deck, I feel and work with this oracle. These two decks are so connected to each other and I feel that they are so nicely uh, paired and I whenever I think of any one of them the other deck uh, jumps into my mind so I adore this deck the Mind's Eye Tarot it's a beautiful deck and I adore this Universal Folk Oracle and I love working with them together they are so beautiful together there is a lot of connection between them and I feel that they are perfect. Like here, I did a video uh, pairing them together. And they are stunning together. Really gorgeous. And I love working with them so much. So I feel that these, these two decks fit in this category. Which is the love triangle. I love them both. And uh, I, I really found this uh uh, tag very interesting and uh, I was so happy to be able to do a v video response to this tag so I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you liked the the decks I shared so thank you so much for watching and see you on my next video and bye